It is 6.06 right now. Job seekers have a lot of opportunities this time of year, but watch out for job listings that offer pay and perks that seem too good to be true. That's why Mallory Safase has more on how to vet those job postings as we count down the 12 scams of Christmas. A labor shortage has led to millions of job openings, which means workers have more options. And while sign on bonuses or other incentives are becoming more common, they're also being used as bait in many job scams. It's a holiday hiring blitz, companies adding tens of thousands of workers. But among the growing list of opportunities are decoys, scammers posing as businesses on popular job search sites intent on stealing your money or personal information. A person is hired and then uh, sent uh, you know, a large check for four or $5,000 to set up their home office. Uh, the, check, uh, but it, it's, uh, the check is sent for too large an amount, so they cast the check, which of course turns out to be uh, fraudulent. Um, and then they forward a, a chunk of that money onto, uh, onto the bad guy and they're stuck uh, once the, the bank figures out the, uh, the check is no good. The FBI has also seen job seekers being used as money mules. To uh, unwittingly open bank accounts that uh, the scammers can direct funds to be sent to and then uh, move those funds uh, as directed by uh, uh, by the criminal. Scammers create fake work from home opportunities, helping them bypass any in person meetings. They immediately hire you without really interviewing you, asking you questions. And they know money is a strong motivator. They're going to lure you in with high pay. If it's a job that's normally $15, $18 an hour, and they're suddenly offering you $25 or $30 an hour, that's a warning flag. Once they offer you the job, they'll send over employment paperwork. Name, social, you know, bank account, routing number, uh, all that information, which is normal uh, to provide to a, uh, an employer. Except FBI Supervisory Special Agent Keith Custer said it'll be used to steal your identity. You should research potential employers before giving them any sensitive information. Google their name, phone number, email address, and business address. And if it's a well-known company, call their HR department. Ask if they're hiring for that position. With your 12 Scams of Christmas, I'm Mallory Safaste.